What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. Today's video is a paint enhancement on this black Chevy Tahoe. So that's what we're gonna try to really focus on and eliminate is the water spotting. So guys, the Tahoe is in the shop for a paint enhancement, no ceramic coating. We're just gonna put a sealant on it, but some sort of a ceramic sealant. We'll find one to apply. And the owner just wants it glossed up he wants the swirls and some minor water spots cleared up as much as possible. And we're also going to apply PPF film under the door handles and on the door edges. So that's something new that we're offering. And it's actually a really nice upgrade for the customer. It is a PPF film by Global Window Films. Now they actually reached out to me and I can buy their packs that include four uh, door handle cup covers and four door edges. So now we're offering that and it's actually a really nice upgrade. So it's gonna protect underneath the door handles here and the door edges, obviously. It's a transparent PPF film, it's clear, so you're gonna barely notice a little faint line and a little um, you know, outline underneath the door handle. But these are actually pretty deep and covered really well, so you probably won't even notice it at all. But let's check out the paint. It's definitely dirty and dingy and dusty, it needs to be cleaned the wheels definitely need help it's they have black gloss wheels and they need to be cleaned up and we'll seal those in as well kind of hard to see some of the swirls but you can kind of see it here in the light so you can kind of see the water spots and swirls in the sunlight there but once we clean it pull it in we'll put it under the lights and you'll be able to see it clear but overall i mean it's not horrible So guys, if you are enjoying videos like this, and I hope you are, consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss stuff. So let's get this thing cleaned, deconned, pulled into the shop, and then we'll examine the paint and see what we're up against. The vehicle is pulled in, we're drying now, and you can see underneath the water, when it's slightly wet like this, the uh, water molecules kind of hang around the little water spots. So that's what we're gonna try to really focus on and eliminate is the water spotting. So it does have swirls, but he is concerned about the water spotting especially. So we'll certainly tackle that. We do have a couple of different chemicals that we use for water spots and we'll show you that process. But let's get this thing all dried and then we'll take a look at the paint. Thank you. 
this poor thing is riddled with defects. All sorts of swirls, hazing, water spots. Yeah, it's got a lot going on. So we're gonna try to remove those water spots using the last coat clear SR. I still like saying clearzer. I'm just gonna call it clearzer because that's what I like to call it. I've already used this uh, a lot on a vehicle and I've learned I don't use it on a wet panel because it dilutes it. I'm gonna show you our method for applying this stuff and you're gonna see it in other videos as well. And I'm just very impressed with this. It removes water spots on paint and glass. I'm not sure about plastics and rubber because usually you don't deal with too much of that. You can just restore it uh, with some sort of a plastic trim restore. But, uh, oh, the gloss black wheels. We'll take a look at those a little bit closer as well. I don't really see too many water spots on those, but really wasn't concerned too much about that. It was mostly the paint. As you can see, yeah, it's pretty bad. But the swirls, I'm not too concerned about. I know we can reduce those dramatically. It's the rest of the paint that I'm concerned about. Look at the water spots in the glass. That's really bad. We should be able to eliminate that with the clearzer. All right, so let's get to work and uh, do a test spot on the paint and the glass and see how this stuff works. All right, so we have some water spots here. I'm gonna take a clean applicator. And I also have a bottle of water. I'll show you why I use the water. I'm going to spray onto the applicator itself. Just a couple of pumps and I'm going to just work in small areas. Apply it, work it in, don't let it dry, keep it wet. And if you do see it starting to dry, that's when you use a mist of water and it neutralizes it. And then you can wipe off the water and inspect the panel and see what it's done. Not bad at all. Now we're just looking at swirls. I know it's still a little a damp. It's still a little a damp. But look, see there? Those are the heavier water spots that were there before and now they're removed. Now all this needs is polishing. But watch when it dries. Well that just made it worse. It's so cold and damp. Nothing wants to dry. Here we go. Okay, see? That is huge improvement. Wow. That's great. So that stuff works incredibly well. Now we can do the same thing to the glass. No, actually I overused it last time. So you learn to not overuse the product. Only just a mist on the applicator, and once it's on the applicator, you can actually spread it without even applying any more, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yep. That worked really well. Just a little bit of quick detailer or glass cleaner just to clean up any of the residue. Yep, that looks great. So you can see the difference. Oh, that's just lint. It does make the glass really grabby. You can see how it removed the water spots. Oh, can't even focus on it now. So guys, we're working around the vehicle section by section and we are using the clearzer and we're controlling what we're doing. So we're actually going over the entire hood. We did that whole side already, glass and paint, and it's coming out really nice. You can see the swirls. The swirls are heavy, but the water spots are gone. Now here we haven't done yet. You can see heavier water spots. Now can we polish that out? Oh, let's see. Come on, focus. There we go. So could we polish that out? Yeah, probably, but why do that if you can just use a little bit of chemical and remove them first and then just tackle the swirls? So 
the application is very easy. A little bit goes a long way. You can stretch it out over a large section, two by two, even three by three, but keep it wet, work it into the paint a little bit, a few passes. It will be dissolving the minerals. And you do wanna do this indoors, ideally. If you do it outside, you just have a shorter working period, so uh, work in smaller sections, and you probably wanna avoid working in sunlight. This is an acidic product. That's what it's doing is dissolving those minerals. Acids dissolve minerals. So have just a bottle of water. We just have distilled water in there. Spray it and it neutralizes it and then use a damp towel. So I have this towel that's soaked and I wipe the section overlapping it just to get any overspray that may have happened and then dry. and it really leaves the paint squeaky clean. It just removes everything from the paint. And now, yep, much better. It's just the swirls, just heavy swirls that we're dealing with. The water spots are gone. Mineral deposits are gone, so awesome. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna keep working around the vehicle, doing that, and get all of these water spots removed. I don't really see any up in the chrome here, so that's good. But anywhere we see it, we will use this process, it works really well. So if you wanna get your hands on this water spot remover, check out the links down below, it's from the last coat. And it's pronounced Clear SR, but I like to call it Clearzer, because it's more fun that way. Now I wish I had this product when we did that white Ford Taurus. I wonder how it would have done, but I guess they were working on the product at the time, I didn't have it. I wish I did. Now these are not super hard water spots, so when we do get a job that they're really heavy water spots, we'll see how it works. So we started the polishing process and we're using the Extreme Solutions foam pad polish. This is the LVR 403. So this is just like the Helios polish, but designed for black vehicles, it is like a tinted product. Um, but despite that, the polish itself is amazing. The wipe off is so easy and the surface is extremely glossy and slick. Now. Remember guys, this is a paint enhancement, not a full correction. And this clear coat is pretty hard. I would say it's medium to hard clear coat. Look at the difference from before. Ugh, big, hazy mess and much better. So that's what we're going for. I know, you still see swirls. Don't, don't overthink that. Don't uh, try to go beyond that if the customer is not paying for it. Remember, to not go too overboard. Now there's gonna be some little scratches and things like that that we're gonna to try to make look better, but that's about it. That's what we're going for. That's the paint enhancement that we're going for. They just, these lights exaggerate the defects. When it's out in the sunlight, it doesn't look as bad. So just remember that. We're going from this to this. So I also picked up a second SPTA cordless polisher. This is actually the original one and you see the, the sticker here, eh, it's not the greatest. I'm being really gentle with it. I don't want to wear this sticker out, so be careful if you do have one of these. But the new one, she has, and they did improve on the sticker. It's not a paper sticker, it is like a plastic one, but it's still, nah, it still needs to be better. It shouldn't be a sticker at all. It should be a piece of plexiglass right over this with uh, you know a hole for the button to be able to press it. Um, the only weird thing we notice about this is unlike the other one, you have to hold the trigger and then press the button to change the speeds. Not like before where you just click the trigger, turns the light on, and then you can change the speeds here without having to hold down the trigger. So don't know why they did that, but it's the same machine. Does it seem more powerful though? Maybe just because it's newer? Maybe. Yeah, well, it's awesome anyway. So now we have two and we're buzzing around the vehicle Results are looking amazing. That's what we want. Water spots are gone. 
the paint is clearing up it's looking super glossy so very happy with this this stuff is just incredibly slick if you haven't tried it you got to try it for yourself if you want a really slick easy to use polish Wow, the gloss is amazing. So we're just finishing up. She's finishing up the bumper here, the chrome pieces, and all the polishing is done, and this thing just looks incredible. Water spots are removed. Paint is polished, looking incredibly glossy. And yeah, there's some minor swirls in there, but this is a paint enhancement. This is the way it's supposed to look. Even with some of the bright lights on it, you're gonna see minor swirls, but again, Paint enhancement, not full correction. I wanna preserve clear coat on these vehicles as much as possible and add protection. So there you go, you do see some swirls, but it was much better than it was before. So huge improvement. Even the pillars here, they look much better. Oh, I need to wipe this down, a little smudgy, that's all right. We're gonna wipe down some of the panels here, but we're going to use torque mirror shine, their uh, ceramic shine, not mirror shine, but their ceramic shine. So uh, from what I've seen, this stuff is pretty impressive. So we're gonna apply it like a ceramic coating and go panel by panel. And we're gonna go right over the foam polish. We're not gonna IPA it. This is designed to actually kind of act like a primer. And I know you're supposed to wait 24 hours before putting on a true ceramic coating but you can go over it right away with any waxes or sealants, and this isn't too solvent heavy like those other true ceramics, so we're fine applying a sealant like this. Even though it is a ceramic, it's considered a ceramic spray coating, it's fine to go right over the LVR 403 polish, or even the Helios polish, which I actually used mostly on that side because we split the car in half. She polished the passenger side, I polished the driver's side, and yeah, it turned out incredibly well. This stuff is so easy to work with. The wipe off is amazing. If you're working on soft, finicky paint, this is one of the most amazing products. We do have their new one, their LVR 496 Finale. Now this, we haven't used yet, but it's made for soft paint, finishing down soft paint, and you can go, again, right over it with a ceramic coating without waiting. So it kind of acts like a primer polish. And I know everyone's gonna say, no, you need to use an IPA wipe down. Look, I'm trying to get away from that, especially for soft finicky paints, because that can be a problem. You can run into streaking and marring issues because the IPA solution might be too strong. You can make your own, uh, but you don't have to worry about it with this. If you want to do an IPA wipe down with this product, you can, but make your own solution. Make it like 10%, 15% IPA with distilled water, extremely light, and have a super soft towel, and don't saturate the panel with IPA because it does kind of swell the paint and it can cause some marring from the towel. It, it kind of softens it, and then the towel mars it, and you run into issues. So 
That's why I'm trying to get away from just crazy panel preps and just dousing the paint with them. They do have their place, yes. But with black finicky paint, you run into issues. So I have yet to use this. I'm really excited to try that out. And then you can just coat it with any of these true ceramic coatings, which is incredible. So we're going to be cleaning the glass, finishing that glass up. The protection will be the last step that we do. We're gonna to get to installing the PPF film under the door handles and the door edges, and also the back handle of the hatch we're also gonna protect. So guys, Global Window Films. This is what we're using. Um, no, it's actually called Global Paint Protection Film. Sorry guys. So GPF, this is what it comes in, this little, this little uh, tube, and you get four door handle uh, cups, uh, PPFs, PPF cups, PP, PPF, PPF, paint, paint protection film, the thingies that go under the thing. And they come in this and also the door edges. So all four come in this little packet. But I have them here because uh, I am uh, an installer for them. So I have them all rolled up in the rolls here. So we're gonna get them out and prep under the door handles, install them. We'll show you how, you, how we do that. And then we'll apply the protection right over it. So we're going to apply the ceramic shine from Torque and we apply it just like a ceramic coating. And I can't stress this enough, don't over apply. Just a little bit goes a long way, enough to go on the panel and kind of see it flash off and you wipe immediately. And if you do see some smearing, just keep wiping and let it go and then come back to it and it does go away. It's kind of like the last coat black ice. It looks a little smeary towards the end when you're wiping it and then it flashes away. Look, yep, that looks awesome. If you'd see smearing, the camera would definitely bring it out because it's the light sensor is so sensitive. You'll see that smearing. But just go lightly over the panel and then wipe immediately. That spreads it around and removes any excess residue. Yeah. Yeah, you can see just a teeny bit in the lens, but yeah, it, it flashes away. It goes away. Yeah, you see that right there? Just a little bit of smearing, but yeah, it's starting to flash away already. You can barely see it in the camera, but you can wipe it a little bit more, get a second towel, and yeah, now it's starting to flash away. So don't be deterred if you see that smearing, it will go away, just like, just like this. So good. So she's gonna cover the whole front end Leaving the doors, I'm installing the PPF film under the doors, so let's go do that as she continues doing this. Now, some of you are gonna say, that looks ugly. Guys, look, it's PPF film under door cup handles like this and the edges. You're going to see the edge. That's just the way it is. If you want to protect the entire door and not see an edge and wrap the edges, well, that's an entirely different thing. Remember, this is just door edges and under the door handles. This is for protection. Once those get gouged and scratched up, and they eventually will, if you know nails get into there and dig into there, then you just peel it up and reinstall a new one. They're meant to get damaged. They're meant to take the brunt of the friction and, and gouges from nails. And same with the edges. They're made to get damaged. It's a sacrificial barrier. So I know some of the comments are gonna say that it looks ugly, but it's for 
protection. So look past that. I have it on my vehicle and I don't even notice them anymore. So you see them because I'm pointing them out to you and the light is hitting it just right. But out in the daylight, in normal daily use, you're not gonna notice it anymore on your own vehicle and they're there for protection, so very important. So I'm gonna continue doing the rest of the doors, the rest of the edges, and then we're gonna to get to the wheels. Tahoe is done. It looks incredible. The wheels really shined up. Now we use the same polish, the foam pad polish, the LVR, I always forget the numbers, 403, the LVR 403 on the wheels as well. Just hand application, just to clean it up and incredible. So that stuff for dark colored paints, black paint, as a fine polish, as a one-step polish, as a prep uh, for waxes, sealants, and even coatings. Just wait 24 hours to apply a true coating. Um, but with the coating that we use today, which I didn't intend to use, but I wanted to play around with it, so we did. The Torque Ceramic Shine. Now, this stuff is pretty impressive. The application of it is amazing. And it reminds me of the last coat, Black Ice. It will smear like a tiny bit if you put too much on. So I can't stress that enough. Don't overuse the product. One mist on your applicator, work in a two by two section, wipe it off immediately with a nice fresh towel, get one or two towels, get two or three towels to use to wipe off. And if you do see any smearing, just wait a little bit because it flashes away eventually and is gone. This stuff is awesome. So this was put on the wheels and the paint. Incredible stuff. It can go on the trim as well, but we already used a protectant on the trim. So amazing stuff. Guys, check out the paint. The gloss levels, incredible. Now I know, don't look too closely because you are gonna see some swirls still. This is not a, a full paint correction. This was simply a paint enhancement. And the goal of this service was really to remove the water spots. So the glass, the windshield, yep, awesome. All the side glass, yep, it looks amazing. I know what some of you are gonna say. Uh, why'd you put a coating on top of swirls? Look guys, I'm running a business, so I'm not going to do something that the customer is not paying for, for one, and what does it matter? It's not that big of a deal. If you're a detail enthusiast, or you do this on the side or for your own vehicles, you go 110%. You go all the way because you're spending the money and you're spending the time on it and it's something that you enjoy. But don't accuse another detailer, especially one who owns a business like us, of coating over swirls. Come on guys, enough already with that. We're going to do what we need to do and also charge the appropriate amount. I'm gonna be completely honest with this detail this is going to be costing the customer $650. Why? Well, because the paint enhancement part of it is $450. The vinyl, the PPF film, underneath the door handles and the door edges, that's an extra $200, so $650 total. I'm being upfront and honest about that because that's the amount of money that we make on these types of jobs. Now, if we were going to use a true ceramic coating, 
you're looking at nine to a grand and up just for the two year typical coating like C quartz or any other typical two year 18 to 24 month coating. But that's what we charge. If you want a full paint correction, that just starts alone at 900 and then you can add a ceramic coating onto it for an extra two to 300. So I will adjust the price accordingly depending on what the vehicle is, how much damage there is, what the customer wants. So that's what we do. We balance all of that, charge appropriately, and we try not to go overboard. When it comes to swirls, we're not gonna give someone a full paint correction if they're only paying for a paint enhancement. That's not up to me, that's up to the customer. I'm not gonna try to convince them to get a full paint correction just so I can make extra money. That's stupid and that's bad customer service. I'm gonna be completely honest with them and tell them if it's a daily driver, then don't do a full paint correction. Do a paint enhancement. It's half the cost and it's gonna get swirled up again. And most people are not going to even notice it. Now true, this is a black vehicle. You're going to notice those swirls, but well, at least I am and maybe you will. But most of the time, the customers don't even care. They want it super glossy. They want it beating water like crazy. That's what they're shooting for. If we can eliminate the swirls by 50 to 75% or so, and then put a really good protectant on, then that's the goal. They're happy, we're happy, we get paid. That's the name of the game with the detailing business. But again, if you are a detailing enthusiast, you're doing this on the side, you do what you wanna do. If you're working on friends' cars or even customers' cars, and they're expecting perfection from you because that's what you're advertising and that's what you're charging, or even if you're not charging, if that's just what you're advertising, then so be it. That's what you're advertising. I'm not advertising 100% perfection because I know that it is unreasonable and somewhat dangerous. You don't want to shoot for 100% correction on a vehicle that's a daily driver and may not be maintained the way that I would maintain it. Keep all that stuff in mind. So I'm trying to teach people that because that's reality. Don't try to go overboard and don't pick on other guys, other detailers for not doing one thing or the other. Ask questions before you make dumb statements because that's just not intelligent. Intelligence comes from asking questions, doing research, and finding the real answers. So guys, let's take a quick look around the vehicle and see how this thing looks. So again, I know I started going around the vehicle, but let's take a look at the wheels. Man, the gloss is insane, amazing. They're nice and slick and protected. And check out the window, or the window film, the edges, the door edges, the PPF film around the edges, barely noticeable. Same with the door cups, barely noticeable. You see just a little line, but basically you know that there's protection there. That's what it's there for. So yeah, it looks awesome. So this side was done. Of course, the back handle under here, done as well. All the edges and the door cups on this side, nice and protected. Yeah, you barely even notice it. It just kind of looks like the little bump here on, on either edge. Yep, excellent. That looks great. Tires, wheels look amazing. So here are just a handful of the products that we use today. We use the Enzo Orbit on all the tires. This stuff is amazing. We did use both of these polishes. I actually used this on the other side because I was tired of going back and forth grabbing the polish because Jess was polishing on this side. So she used that, I used that on the other side. They're essentially the same thing, just one for lighter cars, one for darker cars. I really don't find a difference in that. They work exactly the same for me. They're both amazing polishes. The wipe off is really the beauty in this product. It wipes off so slick and smooth, it's ridiculous. I love these two. Now, the last coat, Clear SR. Guys, I need to get more of this. I am so impressed with this stuff. It worked incredibly well on the paint and the glass. This was a lifesaver because I didn't have to spend extra time polishing the water spots. Chemically remove the water spots. That is my new favorite water spot remover. I love it. So the Torque Ceramic Shine, that's what we applied onto all of the paint. Love that stuff, it is great. So I'll be using this product again, testing its you know durability, 
real world durability. When it comes to durability though, it's really about maintenance. Don't just think you can slap a product on and if it says it goes up to six months or a year, that you're just gonna get that without doing anything. Just running it through washes or just washing it by hand and that's it. You need to maintain it. So with that, you can maintain it by just spritzing their mirror shine on it or their detailer here, their waterless detailer. Both of those products can be used as maintenance products. This is a standalone product, can get you a few months, but again, you want to maintain it. That's what you want for protection. Don't just think one product is going to last and that's it. You need to maintain your vehicle's finish. So here, these guys, the Global uh, Paint Protection Film Company, these are the guys that we are now working with and they provide us with the PPF film to install. So that's a new service that we're offering our customers. If you are interested in that, then check out our info down below. So guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it as well. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Leave the goofy comments just out of it. If you're not interested in the videos, go away. If you are interested in the videos and more to follow, then subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. And again, any of the products and the tools that you see, check out the links down below if you're interested in them. Don't just get them because you see us using them. They are awesome and I love to use products that work in the real world in our business. But if you already have products that you use, that you enjoy, then stick with them. Simplicity is key to running a business. I know you see all these products. Yeah, it's a lot of products, but that's just me. That's my business. That's what I enjoy doing is trying all sorts of stuff. Plus being on YouTube companies send you stuff. So that's also another reason why. I showcase products that I enjoy using and that actually work. I'm not going to show you guys things that don't work. You know, if a product that I have here doesn't work, I will be honest about it, and I have been. There's a few that I still have that I try to work with here and there, but they just don't perform consistently for me. That's key. I need products that work consistently. So if any companies are interested in sending me products, just be aware that I will give honest feedback and if I don't like it, I'm not going to bash the product. In fact, I'll just probably tell you what needs to be improved with the product, and hopefully you'll do that. So we'll see you guys next time. Have a great week. Take care.